Uh, hi everyone, today I'm going to uh, talk about crossover games, uh, to be more exact. Um, crossover games is very handy. Uh, it it's allows you to play um, Windows games on a Mac or on a Linux. So, yeah, it's very nice, I think, uh, because you can also run uh, Windows on your Mac uh, if you have boot camp, parallels, VMware, uh, there are a few, but I don't really like that because first of all I bought a Mac, so why would I run Windows? And as well, you get uh, the viruses which are on Windows, you get them as well, and you have to pay for uh, you have to install Windows XP or Windows Vista or Windows Seven or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, you have to pay for that, so that's pretty crap, and crossover games, you can try it or buy it, or get it via torrents, like cracked, or something like that, it's pretty simple to get it, okay, so, now I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna put this link in the description, so you can download, try it, and yeah, so crossover games, um, it's pretty simple. Once you've got a game, um, which must be supported on your, you just save it on your desktop and you double click on it. Uh, crossover games will direct directly actually um, be installed or start the installation, which is very nice. Uh, you got uh, 168 games uh, supported. Okay, so. It's not that much, but some some are okay. So yeah, I got um, which I like. I had Counter Strike sources, um, which is actually pretty good, and uh, Trackmania. So yeah, I don't got a lot, but um, it does cost more space to actually make it work with crossover. But otherwise, if you have enough space, it's pretty nice. Um. It does support on uh it does support some uh games which are not listed but not big games only like small games so I've got an example somewhere uh, I just show you it only sup uh things like which are pretty simple wait um. Yeah, so it supports unsupported games, which sounds pretty weird, but yeah. Um, for unsupported games, you it doesn't start up uh, automatically. Oops, sorry, there's a little problem here. Uh, you have to create a bottle, which is called a bottle, by pressing plus, and then selecting the name of the game. So I'll just show you an unsupported game which is just yeah just have to wait for this super crazy guitar media deluxe three so i'm just taking a quick example just just improvisation uh, so you can uh, it does support a few games which are not listed but not big games like call of duty doesn't support or annual tournament 3 uh, doesn't support it because those are two big games but for example you have here Super Crazy Guitar Mania Deluxe 3 which is a, a very small game with flash player and it's an execution file so normally you can't actually do that but if you double click on it it will actually cro uh, start crossover games and you can actually play it so it's pretty nice you see not it's loading so pretty nice just have to wait for a while and it just start up uh, automatically but some you have to make a bottle for them so that's crossover game uh, I highly recommend it for all the games uh, listed because some are actually pretty good and yeah so I'll just show you one last thing is the game, but I don't know if it's loading. Yes. 
Okay. It's supposed to work, but maybe not. Uh, oh yeah, it is working. So here we go. You can actually play it. You see? So, and it's an execution file. Super crazy guitar, maybe yeah, yeah. deluxe three. Yeah. So this is an execution file. You can play it with crossover game. Um, one last tip is that crossover game here. Um, you've got crossover Mac and crossover game, crossover game Linux. Uh, Linux, I think. Um, but if you uh, buy crossover games, um, it actually supports the games and the thing you can do on crossover as well. Actually, most of them. So it's actually pretty funny, but it works as well. So try crossover games. I uh, highly recommend it to play uh, the, 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 the games listed in this list, uh, which is OK, 168 games. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave comments or rate the video. Bye.